uh, such vibrant leaves or flowers. So from the perspective of the insect community, there could be big changes if the plant community changes. You could see big changes in the insect community. This is arrowleaf balsam root, which is a pretty predominant species around here. It's a relatively early summer blooming species. Uh, it's doing very well right now because this winter we had quite a bit of snowpack. So this is an important uh, nectar source for a lot of the butterflies in this meadow. We can look at the conditions of the meadow right now and say there's quite a bit of nectar out here. It looks great. But uh, the number of individuals that we see this year flying around as butterflies are dependent upon the number of eggs that were laid last year. And last year was actually a bad year for the butterflies. So um, we're going to just have to wait and see what happens because I'm suspicious that there could have been a smaller number of eggs laid last year. So next I'd like to take you over to see some of the research plots. We have four different treatments that we're using to simulate some of the potential effects that could be witnessed as a uh, result of climate change. So one expected trend could be that there would be less snowpack. So we have one treatment that involves snow removal. We come out here in the first week of May and actually we remove snow with shovels uh, from the plots and that